there's been some enhancements over the years to the linear pattern that we're going to explore. So let's take a quick look. So the linear pattern has been able to pattern things linearly, uh, clearly, and it, you could choose an axis for that, but there wasn't an option to rotate your instances. Now there is. So we just go to linear component pattern. We select a direction. I'm gonna have that go the opposite way. And then what we'll do is select this option here, which is rotate instances. Okay, and all we do is we select a rotation axis. Now I need to choose my component. We'll do that. And then we need to add a couple more instances. So this is at 40. And we'll keep going with that Oop, right here. And then we have rotate and we have all of these options right here. We just rotate it around. I'm going to do 120 and click OK. So all within that same property manager for the linear pattern, we were able to generate uh, just that. And you can take advantage of pattern driven component patterns as well, where we have the pattern. We can choose the pattern here. What well, we're not patterning that, sorry. We are going and patterning the mug. And we are using this pattern we just created as our driving pattern. Go ahead and hit OK. And you're ready for coffee in the morning. We also have another type of uh, linear pattern enhancement, which is called up to reference, but this is an enhancement with assemblies. So I'll go ahead and just roll back and we'll take a look at what we have. We've got this component here, which is a separate part that is running alongside here. Now it's 10 millimeters from the side, which is the requirement, but we're not really sure. We wanna put in a, we wanna put in a pattern that gives us the flexibility because we're not sure how many instances we want along this. We just know that they need to be 10 millimeters from each side. So let's go ahead and take a look at the linear component pattern. We can choose a direction, and then we can also choose up to reference. So we're gonna go ahead and choose this right here. It's going to go up to that. And then what we do is we select a reference and we say, okay, well, this edge, Oh, not ready yet, I gotta choose the component. All right, now what we have is, let's uh, do it right here, bounding box center. We'll just do bounding box center for now. It's taking in reference this green surface. So we have right now a spacing of 40 millimeters between them. We can also dictate it by the amount of instances. So if I want, I can come in here and I can type in 10. I can reduce that and it will adjust. So we'll do the up to reference or a selected reference again. I'll choose this edge. And choosing this edge allows me to satisfy that 10 millimeter offset option that I talked about. So we have this right here, which is an offset distance from the reference. So I just changed that to 10. And you can see how this would work if I increase that. So this is an up to reference component pattern, never used to be there. It was introduced as a feature pattern not long ago uh, for part files and features for patterns.